I finally found the Chobani creamers that I've been seeing everywhere. I think I've tried the French toast one, I think it was called, and I think it was not dairy. I prefer the creamers to be dairy instead of oat milk, but I know they do have like some flavors come in either or some, they make them for both. These are the ones that I found. Hold on, let me get them. These right here are the ones that I just found. I found them at Target, my local Target. If you've been to Target and you haven't found them yet, I suggest running back. Somebody that I follow on Instagram lives kind of near me, but not exactly in my area. And she said that she found it at her local Target. I haven't had any success at Target, but I went back after seeing her post and I was so surprised that they were fully stocked on a lot of flavors. Flavor, because normally at Target, they only have like the sweet cream and the vanilla one, at least in my Target. They had the caramel one, the hazelnut one, sweet cream, the usual ones. And then they had these. I was like, okay, I'm taking them. So I already tried cookie dough. It is so delicious. It has a good amount of like that chocolatey flavor, but not to the point where it's just chocolate. It tastes, I think it tastes exactly like cookie dough. So if you like cookie dough, you're gonna like this one. And this one actually has a, let me, hold on. This one has like a beigey color, if you will. So it's not white. A lot of their creamers are just straight up white. It's so good. Yeah, to me it tastes like cookie dough, but it has a nice chocolatey flavor, but it's really good. This one is the one that I'm gonna try right now. I haven't tried it. Are we a little too bright? I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited. This is their cinnamon coffee cake coffee creamer. Like I said, this is real dairy. We're gonna try it today. I typically like either using them for my drip coffee, <coughs> like my Smeg coffee maker, or I'll take a cold brew and then put some creamer in there and it just it just makes the simplest iced coffee drink you don't have to use syrups you don't have to use um the espresso maker nothing just buy your cold brew i like stoke stoke i think it's called the purple one I'll, I'll show you and that's it usually if i have my usually if i have coffee in the morning with this this is yesterday's coffee i have to clean it but usually I'll do drip coffee in the morning hot and then for iced coffee time I still will reuse this and then put some creamer in pour it over ice and it's really really good I think it's a little bit less caffeine versus the cold brew because cold brews tend to have a little more caffeine correct me if I'm wrong but yeah we'll do cold brew today because that's yesterday's coffee like I said I really wanted to have another one of these because I had one yesterday and I really did enjoy it and I sipped so fast. I sipped it so fast. But we're gonna try this one. If you guys have tried these, do you like them? Which one's your favorite? One that I haven't seen in a long time that I think is really, really good. This one was like really popular during my Nespresso days for like coconut, the coconut pot. It was my favorite way to drink it. The flip edition. It was like half chocolate, half coconut. And that one was so, so delicious. I don't think this, they have it around right now maybe it's like a limited edition where they bring it up for the summer but okay let's try this all right so this is the iced coffee that i use the stoke cold brew coffee darker roast still smooth it says and it's their extra bold let's choose a cute coffee cup i don't want a big one because it's cold brew does it say how many milligrams of coffee oh 170 milligrams of caffeine so I really have to think, I really have to look it up how much caffeine there is in like a double shot espresso. Usually lattes will have the least amount of caffeine because if you think about it, an espresso shot is like this much versus this is like a full cup of coffee, you know? With like an espresso, I remember the big coffee capsules had, I don't know, like upwards of a hundred milligrams and then like the the singles were like 50, 60 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, espresso, a lot of people will think like, oh, let me get espresso because I need a caffeine boost. Well, if you need a caffeine boost, you need to either do drip coffee or a cold brew because that's how you'll get more caffeine in you. 
versus an espresso shot. So let's get some ice. Oh my God. Wow, that actually tastes like a coffee cake. There used to be a coffee cake that we would always buy when I was younger, my mom would buy it from Aldi, I think it was. And it was like those long ones with like, maybe it was Entenmann's, I don't know, but it tastes like that one with little crumbles on top. It's literally a coffee cake. It tastes so good. It doesn't have too much of a cinnamony, like it's not like a, I wouldn't call it like a cinnamon dolce flavor. There's something there like that tastes nice and vanilla bread like flavor topped with cinnamon, some icing. I'm tasting all of those, those flavors, those ingredients in this coffee. Oh my God, that is so good. Yum. So if you see both of these flavors, honestly, they are both winners. I think I added like three tablespoons of the creamer. I feel like I always add way more than what the serving suggestion is. Cookie dough is 40 calories per serving. I think each serving is a tablespoon, so it does add up. But again, I'm literally just using the syrup, um, the creamer, I'm not adding syrups, I'm not adding cold foam, and the coffee is zero calories. So that's, that's usually about what a latte would be. I feel like with the latte, you add the milk, that adds calories, the syrup adds calories. If you add caramel drizzle or foam that all adds up so yeah that's what i did today and i think that's perfect so yeah that was very very delicious are there other flavors that i should be looking at i feel like these are the only ones that i've seen i know there's the oat milk cereal oat milk that they have i have yet to find it so i can't i, I mean i wish i could but if you are in the chicago area west suburbs let me know where you found it because i have yet to have any luck with that one and usually the stores that have um like the unique flavors like this one not target it's very rare i'm surprised i found these at target but there's like local just local supermarkets that are not like chains those usually have them and i haven't found the old one but um yeah so if you have other flavors that you would like for me to try let me know in the comments below let me know if you like this sweet short style of video i feel like i used to do them a lot and then i just completely forgot about them but i want to continue doing them because i feel like it does save people money some of these creamers are not good. I remember the brown sugar sizzling something that they had and it was disgusting. And I know a lot of you guys were like, okay, thank you for letting us know because I'm not gonna buy it. They're helpful for me, so hopefully they're helpful for you too. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this style of video, short and sweet. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.